Do you also find it boring to keep pressing the keyboard buttons all the time, even to change the screen brightness or your system volume or it can be anything? Then I have something cool for you. Today I will show you how you can use Arduino with JavaScript to control your system settings like brightness or volume with potentiometer. Keep watching. Hello everybody, long time no see, but I am back. You guys missed me? No, you guys don't miss me. I only miss you. Alright, so today we will be building this amazing Arduino project. We will only use JavaScript, not a single line of C code. Yes, it's all in JavaScript and Node.js. We will be using Johnny5 and some of the libraries to... Uh, Control our computer. You can do anything you want. You can create your server and uh, the possibilities are endless. So I am Vax and Sivam is here. So you don't need to go anywhere. Let's get started. To build this project, you will need an Arduino, some potentiometers, few jumper wires and a computer with a baby. Of course not, you don't need that baby. Alright everyone, so the first thing which we will need is that we will have to flash our Arduino Uno with something called Fermata. So what Fermata allows you to do is that you can control the microcontrollers from your host system. As you can see, this is what they have written and what this does. So we can directly communicate via the serial communication and uh, we can do all sorts of stuff. So so how do we install this library in our Arduino Uno? So let's uh, jump into the create dot Arduino dot CC. Alright, so as you can see, this has some things. What? So we, we, we are just going to use this web editor. So just click on it, web editor and uh, this is the url too and you will just have to create an account or login if you already have one so let's just log in here all right as you can see we have got something here so to upload a sketch via usb make sure to all the so the what it is saying is that you have to install this plugin so just install click on this install plugin and it will take you to the plugin welcome and it will start downloading I guess uh, I already have downloaded if you will click on start and click on download and click on I I already have it installed it's pretty simple and if I will just do Arduino create agent app this is the app so you can see here on the top of the icon it it will say it should appear so I can see this go to Arduino create and blah 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 and if I click on next, so you can see if you are seeing this message and uh, everything is then set up. So now we can just click here and cl uh, click on go to Arduino create or let's click here go to web editor. Alright, so this is my older sketch and you can see that uh, here I have selected this Arduino Uno and uh, yeah so if it does not show make sure you connect your arduino properly and in windows it should so calm something like that so all right let's go and create a new sketch or whatever you want this these are the sketch basic sketch you can code from here or if you wanted to use a library guys you could have done uh, arduino ide you could have done that too so but let's uh, use this and if you will go into libraries and search for fermata here and this is the library so let's click on example and in the bottom you will see a standard fermata plus all right so let's click on it and we just have to flash all you can see what this all does like it takes all the control of pins and it will communicate via serial all right, this is pretty simple and it uses a lot of libraries. Yeah, as you can see. So let's click on upload. And uh, your Arduino will start blinking and you can see that Arduino reading chip flash finish. 
ARV dude says thank you. All right, so we are done here. All right, everybody, we have installed the Firmara. So how do we use it? How do we connect it with JavaScript? So if you will scroll into this GitHub pages, you will see uh, we have uh, Firmada client libraries just click on it it will just scroll down a bit and uh, here it is for processing and funnel.cc a lot of things you can do and it is very awesome so these are the client libraries you can use Firmata JS, Johnny5, Breakout.js and you can also use Node Red. so but here we are going to use what? Johnny 5 yes 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 this is Johnny 5 and the website is johnny5.io and make sure you keep giving stars to all the repos yes so how do we install Johnny 5 the instruction is pretty simple and uh, to use Johnny 5 you will obviously need our beloved Node.js, yes, the Node.js who changed the world, yes, 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 yes. This is awesome. If you don't have Node, just install it for whatever uh, operating system you want. All right, uh, Windows, Mac OS, source code, or whatever, whatever. All right, so, so now we just have to read this, what? Uh, do this basic sketch. All right, so how you set up. So in this Johnny 5, uh, let me just open my terminal. All right, so I have this terminal here. So let's create a folder called mkdir uh, js robo. Okay. Uh, all right, let's do this and let's go into js robo. And now what we can do is that we will have to use npm. So npm uh, init and it's you can just go through all of it and you can select all the package name blah 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 and it's okay yes or you could have just done it by adding a y all right so now what we need is that if you will look into the instruction is that you will have to install node set up blah 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 all right so let's uh, jump into its github so here is this github johnny5 make sure you star and uh, how you will have to do is that uh, you see this is how they are doing it so we will just test it like uh, installation where is the installation so installation uh, 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 uh. example program setup all right so this is also you can do or you can just uh, npm package npm install johnny5 all right so let's copy it and paste it here so what it will do it will install the johnny5 package so what are packages it's they are just libraries and npm is a way to manage it and uh, we already have a serial communication with uh, arduino right so we don't need this and so you can just all right then you can just kill this plugin all right and uh, another thing make sure guys you have node installed that's how npm is working if you will type node dash dash v or dash v it should show the version i am on the latest version which is 15.2 and if you have less also then that's okay all right all right all right all right uh, and for code editor you can use anything you want or use vim which i am going to do it right now so we just needed uh, this library and uh, let's create a file called nvim sketch.js so here is the sketch and uh, this is pretty simple program so let's copy it and we will just paste it and uh, all right so this is should uh, blink the led and let's save it and save this sketch i will press colon w you can use vim or vs code 2 and uh, let's just upload it open a new tab and we will do node uh, we don't have to upload this guys we just have to run this and uh, i will explain you all these stuffs in a bit so node sketch.js 
okay guys so you can see that it is blinking very well and all those two are blinking because we are sending this with serial all right so this was a sketch and to cancel it what we do is we you just press ctrl d and it closes or you can press ctrl c twice okay guys all right so let me just uh, clear this all and uh, what we do here is that if you go um, all right so the first thing is that uh, we need to so we will need to use the board here or right, uh, how we use this board like this is the board which is required here and we create this new board constructor in javascript we have constructors so let's create this like how we can do this so const and we put this curly brace and equals to this is how the structuring works and this is pretty simple and you will have this library johnny 5 all right auto completion works and uh, let's go inside this and let's get our board all right here we have board okay and uh, how we create a new board const board equals to new and we do board and this is a constructor and we will call it okay and so now you can have a lot of methods on board so we don't have a lot of methods on board so board dot on ready board dot on and we will uh, see uh, board dot on we have this ready here and then we have this callback so this accepts a function so let's call this a function arrow function all right and we will just do some shit here uh, let's log that console dot log our board is ready to hmm our board is ready that's that's nice let's uh, save it uh, this uh, is working like this uh, all those semicolons got because i have a auto formatter here prettier which you all know so if i run this node sketch dot js so you can see after few seconds when a uh, repl is initialized our board is ready so after this our board is ready we can do a lot of things so uh, so this is the basic sketch and uh, if you go into this api so board dot on ready so this is very basic like led is there so you can auto import the led too so if you will do led wow it is not working so you can just go here and uh, type led i guess yes led and come here and then you type okay we have blink method why is it not showing so if we do this in 13 and save it let's go to its api guys so here is this api and you can see led here and uh, this is how you do led and okay so you have to create a constructor here all right all right so okay so let's create const led equals to new led and we will give the pin number which was 13 all right and if we do led dot now we have a lot of methods on and on we'll just turn it on i guess that's pretty simple let's save it and uh, now let's just run it and see what happens press command d to exit so you can see that our led is glowing constantly so that's pretty simple yeah so i guess you know how you can use this all these apis all the apis are well documented guys so everything you need is there all right so now we have done the basics so let's jump into making our actual project 
okay guys so you will need two potentiometers as you can see and i will link this tinker file in the description so just click on tinker this okay so as you can see here we have nothing much we just have this you have to do connection like these and what we will actually do is that guys we will just read the analog voltage in a0 and a1 so uh, we are just making a simple voltage divider here and uh, make sure you do this connection like uh, in the video i am showing you right here you can check this sketch or you can just do it like however you want all right so how this works is that this is a voltage divider you know potentiometers they work as a voltage divider so this hole is a resistance and this is in the middle something like that and you can read more on watching i will just link some great videos here and you can just watch it and let me just click on a start simulation and i have hooked up a voltometer here too so that you can see what happens so if we turn this here uh, backwards the voltage decreases but if we are moving it so it goes high so this is same in uh, my breadboard too let me just show you this with a real multimeter and as you can see that this works as perfect as we expect all right so we are just feeding this uh, yellow wire goes into a0 and uh, you can add a lot of buttons and do a lot of things here you are not just limited by all any of this so we will just read this vo vo voltage and do some crazy things in our computer all right guys so let's close this we are done here and uh, now here we have something called let's click on sensor all right so in sensor like you can see what we have is linear potentiometer rotatory potentiometer flex uh, a lot of hall sensor tilt sensor so you can see examples too but let's take a look at the api here so we have pin frequency millisecond the frequency in ms uh, millisecond of data event so 25 milliseconds so this is the like if you make it a small it will collect the data that uh, fast so and threshold is that how much like i have used here 10k potentiometer so if you can just set the threshold to like uh, after if value changes from 5 to 6 then only do something or if value changes like if we make the threshold to now let's say 5 then if uh, value goes from 5 to 11 then only our event will be triggered and here is this enabled and disabled true so these are not the required options and we only have this pin all right so a0 or 0 means the same thing so this is the example you can see how they did it new 5 dot sensor temperature all right so let's create our sensor for brightness or let's do it for volume first so here we let's clo clear this and we will what we will do is that const uh, vol volume meter something like that you can just uh, keep whatever name you want and i will link all these files in github uh, new sensor it will auto import see it has been auto imported new sensor and you can manually type this in any text editor if you want but i will highly recommend you to at least use vs code and you can see that it takes uh, options so number of options so the first thing which it will take is that pin okay so so this is pin and pin is that as you know so the volume is in the pin a1 so let's type a1 and uh, we will set the threshold threshold to be 10 okay mm, let's set the threshold to 5 okay and then what we will do is that we will have to set frequency too but let's leave the frequency whatever it is 
and uh, let's go here and uh, you uh, we can add a event listener again so this is in javascript so javascript is love volume meter on mm, and uh, we have this event so what's the event uh, you can say we have this change event so whenever the value will change we will have the data so how this works is we are using arrow functions if you are not you can use this but uh, this is very simple so what i will do is that i will just console log the console log what whatever so wall meter dot i guess we have methods here but uh, if you want to just get the data here you can just get data and you can say data here all right so let's save it now let's go back here and run it again hit enter okay so we have value of 530 here so if i like because this is in middle if i am changing this so it changes and this value ranges from um, back to 1023 uh, to 4 uh, okay so zero is there like as you can see that the this is what we set here the threshold it works like the value difference is really little bit so so that if something moves or there is some static charges it does not trigger it automatically all right so i guess i need to reverse the connection here so that it so you can see this is what happens if you don't do don't connect it and now if we are here like this is the position and if we do it this it increases so what's the next step guys so this is if i put this in middle it should be around 548 so the value is um, 0 to 1024 all right uh, and you can see that in documentation too i guess yeah here is this raw value 0 to 1023 okay Uh, but uh, you can get the analog value too and uh, a lot of things so here is this scale option so here we have a scale too so what a scale too does is that whatever the this is using the this so the constructor which we made it takes the value so the data is 0 to 1 2 3 and we will use this so the two what two will do is scale two will do is that it will scale it from 0 to 10 so let me just show you it will be way more clearer uh, then so let's wall meter dot scale two so it automatically so this is the low and another one is the high so low is let's set it to 0 and uh, and let's set this to 5 so the value will be 0 to 5 all right and uh, save it and let's rerun the program control d and run again and see the value is 210 okay you can see so the range we gave is very limited and this should not be happening so instead of 1 to 5 why not let's give it to 100 okay let's give it 100 colon okay and if we run the sketch again and you should see a value between 0 to so if i do it slowly 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 yeah it 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 works you got the point and why is it not in 100 oh man just please go to 100 please go to 100 anyways so i guess you can make it 101 does it ever come to 0 
yes it comes to zero but why not it goes to hundred something is shady here so this is low or high range so return the sensor and this is also there we have a f scale which we will use so don't worry about it uh, we have got this so let's use how do we control the volume so we have a loudness module from npm so if we will go to npm loudness So this is the exact match and let's go to its github so that we can give it a star. Oh, I already did it. I win. You guys lose. So you just have to install this package called loudness and uh, this is how it sets and you just set the volume here. So let's install this package here. Mm, how we install you forgot npm install or uh, npm i so npm i loudness now let's go back and this is the way how we require it so and i guess auto complete or auto should also work so if we do here let's store this in a variable okay and uh, if we do what uh, loudness no intelligence okay this is this is bad this is bad but in vs code guys it works so if you let's paste it for here right now and if we log the value and uh, what else we need to have here is that loudness dot set so loudness dot set volume so this function will take why i made it from 0 to 100 so because it takes from 0 to 100 all right and you can see 0 to integer between 0 to 100 and we will just pass the value here save it and let's run it again no dispatch dot js and let me open my volume here so here is my sound it's 99 so almost little bit uh, there and if i decrease it so you can see wow guys we made it this is awesome right this is pretty 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 awesome so if i change it all right everyone so we made the volume meter now it's time to create our brightness meter yes 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 so the thing will be pretty simple we just have to duplicate this you know right and i am sorry that uh, the theme has changed a bit and just because i was doing some things last night and anyway so and if you are uh, still watching and enjoying it make sure you hit that like and subscribe button please that's that's awesome if you do it okay uh, all right so now it's time to duplicate this line and and uh, how do you duplicate this line oh shit Oh shit, what happened? Okay, uh, all right, here is the duplicate. So now we will uh, create another event listener. Uh, we will do, uh, we will also duplicate this. All right, so here we will uh, type it brightness B meter or something like brightness. Anyways, and the pin will be uh, A2 sorry a is zero all right and threshold is five nice nice and uh, let's uh, add change it here to instead of volume meter let's change it to brightness okay so whenever we will change and then the thing is that instead of uh, scale two what we will need here is we will need a floating point value so what we will use for controlling our brightness it's pretty simple module it's called brightness just go to kvia and brightness and give it a star and uh, you can just install it by running the npm install brightness and uh, this is how you get the brightness and this is how you set the brightness pretty simple pretty straightforward all right so let's do npm install i guess i have already installed it should not take all right 
and now we will import the brightness module instead of loudness we will set it to the brightness but let's see uh, like uh, let's change this to brightness and instead of using the f scale and the volume meter um, we will do the brightness dot uh, f scale too so what this will do as you can see lower number and higher number it will uh, return a float and we can give the value here so we already have so it will be 0 to 1 so that's what we need for now and let's get the value here okay guys it's time to run the node sketch.js and and let's see Okay, the brightness we are getting around uh, blah 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 0 0.66. It's not blah blah blah. If I change it, you can see it gives us in a decimal value. Alright, so pretty simple. If I mm, go to this and it will give me the and it should give one. Alright, so uh, we have installed the brightness module too. Now let's uh, do this do this do this it's pretty simple and uh, what we will do is that instead of like one more thing what we can do instead of passing this we can just make it uh, add a dot to fixed dot to fixed and it will be what to fix does is it just takes the I guess like returns a string representing a number in fixed point notation so uh, to you can also keep it to three and we will have to convert this into integer so we can just add a plus here or instead of doing parse int you can just add a plus and it will convert into an integer all right so this will parse float instead of all right so this is pretty simple we should not see any change here because we are not doing anything uh, well we will see some change here so let's see what change we get so you can see it's coming up to only three pretty nice okay so, okay now we need to just add a brightness here so bright uh, what was our module name? It's called brightness No intelligence. Why not? All right, we can just copy this and require it at the top here and then we can Set this Dot set and What it takes value any no seriously it will just take the value and we are done and let's add a semicolon uh, what else we are done guys so it's pretty simple let's save it and run it again and let me show you wow so this is the brightness all right so this works guys so it's pretty simple if i turn it uh, this way uh, the brightness will decrease you can see we can also make it completely dark or if we do it like this it will go to full brightness okay you can also add some frequency here to delay the reading or whatever you want you can do all sorts of stuffs guys this was just to give you an intro but let me show you another thing which you can do it's called robo.js and uh, you can completely control your system with this module it's it's amazing guys so let's go to its docs or get started just click on it and uh, you will see an example here um, examples and to move your mouse around this so like your mouse cursor will move it like that so you can just import the robot in the same file and uh, you can add some buttons to trigger some keys or do something so like keyboard screen 
सो दिस इज इट फॉर दिस वीडियो गाइज आई होप यू लर्न सम अमेजिंग थिंग्स फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो इफ यू डिड मेक श्योर टू हिट दैट लाइक बटन एंड इफ यू डिड नॉट दैन प्लीज हिट दैट डिसक बटन शेयर योर थॉट्स और एनी क्वेश्चन इन द कॉमेंट्स एंड इफ यू आर न्यू मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस दैट बेल आइकन टू रिसीव नोटिफिकेशन सो दैट यू डोंट मिस दिस अमेजिंग स्टफ्स okay and uh, if you want to support me so please consider supporting on patreon so that i can keep making these stuff for you guys thank you for watching